Well, guys, welcome to another episode of Candid Convos. Today's guest is Ernesto Mandowski. Uh, Ernesto, why don't you tell people what you're all about? Um, thank you, Joe, for having me. Uh, I'm all about I'm all about having as much fun as possible in your life. I'm all about doing work that you love. I'm all about performing at the highest levels. I'm all about, uh, to sum it up in one word, sharing your honey, sharing that that special, unique gift that you and only you have cultivated throughout your entire life. Through your skills, your experiences, your insights, how you view the world, I, I offer that through business systems and automation, Get Staffed Up offers that through uh, relieving lawyers and, and service professionals of, of their time through the way you do it. And, you know, I really, I, I look forward to creating a world where everyone is kind of living in that, in that honey, in that zone of genius so that they could, you know, have the most fulfilling experience. You know, I, I know very little about this. That's, that's why it's also a big surprise for me. I, I want to get to know more about this concept that you have of sharing the honey. Uh, I've noticed that it's about knowing that secret sauce and then let anybody, let everybody in on that secret sauce, sharing that secret sauce, becoming part of it uh, so that you can use it and pretty much transform it maybe in different businesses. Uh, am I right? Is this what the sharing the honey means for you? Yeah, in a sense. I mean, for, for those, for the listeners who don't know, bees make honey by going to different flowers. You see them, them like floating. What they're actually doing is they're extracting the nectar. Uh, and then as they go from flower to flower, the pollen is getting inside the flower. The flower is actually now creating fruit. It's pollinated. And eventually we people eat the fruit. People and animals eat the fruit. They survive. They win. And the, the bee goes back to the hive to create their honey that they, they survive off of. We do the same. We go to courses, we go to jobs, we go to conferences, we go to people, we're extracting all this nectar, all this, this knowledge, this insight. We're passing that along to the next person so that they can grow, so that they can benefit of the next company we work at. Everyone's kind of growing together. But individually, we're collecting all these insights. We're we're finding that super unique thing that we're offering back to the world. Most everyone is doing it subconsciously or consciously. It's a question of, are you, you aware of what is that special thing and how are you offering it back? You, I, I imagine you started to see like different types of things that work best for your industry. So I'm wondering, what have you seen that's worth sharing when it comes to honey for the legal industry? Well, um, lawyers are very valuable people, very mm -hmm. valuable uh, services. And I think lawyers, specifically the solopreneurs that both of us work with, sometimes feel like they need to do it all. Uh, they need to do the admin work. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, maybe they have aspirational goals. Maybe they want to hit half a million dollars in billables one year. There's a huge element of like mindset, especially like lawyers, right? We're very, they're very logical. There's the contractual. And so sometimes that leads to like this element of, of wanting to be in control and like feeling like they need to do it all. They need to like do all the books and do all the admin and do all this and do all that. And the reality is it's almost self-sabotaging because it's actually keeping them from focusing on the most valuable activity that they have, which is meeting clients, solving their problems, and charging them anywhere from four to a thousand dollars an hour for it. Because, you know, it's not even about the money. It's it's about just helping people navigate through challenges, not being buried in your own in your own administrative work. Mm -hmm. And you know, what you're saying, it's, it's remarkably true. Uh, for lawyers, I've met so many that when they're sharing their growth journey, they tell us how much they struggle with letting go. Like the, 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 they, they fear that if they don't control every aspect of their operation, then the operation is just not going to work. So right. they focus so much on 
not only the lawyering side of the business, but running the entire business by themselves, that they get right. overwhelmed. So it is very difficult for many of them to let go or to understand how to grow their systems and make that switch. Because what you just said is, again, it's remarkably like accurate. Make that switch between the one-man army or the one-person army to the person that's actually running a business. And I've right. noticed that a, a, a very strong business owner, what you just said, that's where they focus their attention in like, how do I get more clients? How do I bring more people in into an operation that's already working, but it's not necessarily right. being entirely run by me? Right. Does that sound familiar to you? Yeah, 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 totally. And I know, I know Get Staffed Up primarily focuses on, you know, working with virtual assistants, working with people overseas to do a lot of the administrative work. But there is a whole other side that even precedes that in you know in setting up the processes and in training these uh, admins in using a technology platform and sometimes the technology platform doesn't even exist so sometimes an, an admin is hired but they don't have a Clio they don't have a practice panther they don't have like these ERPs that are already set up that are already keeping track of everything and you know sometimes when a lawyer decides, oh, I need to implement technology, now comes the big conversation of, well, you know, it's going to cost you anywhere from ten to twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars. Which, at first glance, like, wow, that like that's a big number. Yeah. But when you look at how much time it's going to create, and how much more clients you could take on, and especially like you can now hire lawyers under you, you could you could play with a lot more levers because you have a lot more capacity that you could take on with with additional tools. What do you think the present and future is going to look like for remote working? I think it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be awesome. I think uh I think because we have work from home a lot more distractions and i think i think companies are going to have to really double down on culture mm. and and really connecting with their employees to understand like what drives their employees and their motivations because uh, you could just swipe left quit and join the you know i talk about like the dating apps if you're not happy with it, you just swipe left, you have a skill set, plug into another matrix and just, and then just work there. Um, so I, I, I really believe companies will have to kind of do an amazing job of like really listening to their employees, creating proper growth, like plans for them. Um, if it's not working, like, consciously find a way to get them to a place that works. And I think with the world moving so fast, it's, it's tough. It, that's kind of like a paradox. Like the world is moving faster, but I believe companies need to slow down to really understand like what it is about their employees. Like how could they really help value the, How could they help move the company forward? Because uh, if they don't, the person's going to leave, and it's it, it's it's such a larger cost to a company to replace an employee than uh, and keep them. Um, so I think companies are going to have to do something in around the culture space. Um, but even before you get to the culture, you got to have good systems to be able to communicate, and monitor, and understand how to work. So that that's kind of like where I see the world moving into the future. Well you have a very humanistic approach to things because that's also yeah. a very strong leadership exercise, like actually being there and listening to your people and understanding where they're coming from, making sure that the culture that your company has is something that's healthy in order to mm -hmm. move you to the next generation. But at the same time, you need to have everything in place to make a business work. So not necessarily, of, of course, you need the people for it. And that's the key ingredient. That's the light. You need to understand who you're working with and 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 make turn a specific situation or or, or turn a workplace into 
a, a place where people want to show up every day and they want to commit to the goals that you have in place. Correct. But like that's on, on the one hand. And on the other hand, you need to have the necessary infrastructure to take you to the next level. So correct. It's amazing. And I never thought of it that way, that the world is moving so fast that one of the best things a business owner can do right now is slow down a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. What a paradox. What <laughs> I never viewed it that way. I'll have to come up for a name for the paradox. The <laughs> pollination paradox. I don't know. <laughs> well, <sighs> Ernesto, we are running out of time. But before we go, uh, I'd love it if you could share where people can find you and what you can do for them. Sure. Um, well, if people resonated with our convos on business systems and the transformative power of it, I invite you to check out freesystemscall.com and you'll have a whole a lot of information about me, kind of what I do, how I help people. There will be a link at the bottom to just schedule time to speak. Um, I'm also on Instagram. I'm on LinkedIn. Search by my name. Pretty easy to find. I have these colorful glasses that you can find, not these black ones, but like uh, orange ones. Yeah. And um, yeah, shoot me a message, set up time to chat, happy to share with everyone. Um, I offer tons of tons of webinars online, um, even if free open webinars on business systems mindset uh, once a month, that'll be starting in January. So just look out for that. Well, for everybody that's out there, feel free to reach out. Ernesto, thank you very much for joining us. And if you have a final message that you want to give to people, now's the chance. Well, I invite everyone to consider to choose what's most important in your business. Really think about what you need to do to keep you in that zone of genius, keep you in that honey, keep you sharing that gift with the world. Thank you very much, Ernesto. That's a powerful message. Uh, thank you for joining us and see you next time on another episode of Candid Combo.